at the European University of Rome within the context of a master's study program in architecture, sacred art and liturgy, a new technology is being applied in ecclesiastical structures. It is a 3D scanner, a technology that allows the production of a three-dimensional model of any structure that can be very useful for artists, architects and restoration projects alike. One of the scanned projects is the Church St. Mary Magdalene in Rome. The technology of the laser scanner is an instrument for the studies of architecture and engineering that deal not only with ecclesiastical structures but also with civil ones. The master began to use this technology when the research turned into thesis works and projects of the students. We're not the only ones who use this technology in the sector of cultural goods of the church, but the master puts a specific emphasis within the field of ecclesiastical patrimony, a new approach. The master tries to look at the beauty of architecture through the eyes of the ancient architects. The unity of wisdom of antiquity, according to the disciplines of the ancient quadrivium, geometry, arithmetic, music and astronomy, are part of the instruments that our students have in hand in order to discover the beauty of architecture. The understanding of architecture and sacred art is enabled by the view the original architects had themselves. This extraordinary technology offers many advantages. The technology of the laser scanner offers a double advantage for the technicians and the engineers that use it, especially in the dimension of time. The time it takes to create a model with a 3D laser scanner is drastically reduced in comparison to the technologies that are conventionally used. More time is used in the post-production than when the data is used to create the model. The data information produced by the scanner is vast and very large. Photography is obviously a two-dimensional image, so it does not provide information about the dimensionality of the photographed object. The laser scanner instead can obtain by way of its photography of reality, a faithful three-dimensional model on the computer. This copy of reality can be used in many different ways and with multiple applications in the end. It produces the bi-dimensional information, planes, sections and prospects and better information. For example, analysis of fractured surfaces, analysis of deformation of surfaces and three-dimensional reconstruction of the edifice in question. Uh, analisi delle deformazioni delle superfici, uh, ricostruzione tridimensionale del modello stesso. Already positive results could be made, as in this church in the heart of Rome. All'interno della chiesa della Maddalena noi abbiamo effettuato come master anche. In this church of the Maddalena, we have worked with the master in the main naves as well as in the Rococo sacristy for restoration purposes in the past year. It was necessary to make a new set of 3D models in order to analyze the fracturing of a wall that was restored already a couple of years back. From the analysis of the deformation of the frescoed wall, it was possible to see that there existed a 4 cm change and deformation. A new restoration was therefore initiated to fix the problem.